What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today I'm bringing you guys a new 2014 update to Brute Force Save Data. For those who don't know, Brute Force Save Data has been updated to 4.7. So, what is the difference between Brute Force Save Data 4.6 versus 4.7? I've been seeing that question pop up a lot on my gaming channel, and I finally got my new computer. So I would like to answer that question. The only difference between brute force save data 4.6 versus 4.7 is the algorithm that's in 4.7. What that means is that they added, I believe, four new algorithms that was not in 4.6. So what that means is that certain saves can now be decrypted, certain saves could be re-encrypted that was not on 4.6. Now, before you guys get get happy and say, yeah, I know that, just note this, that on 4.7, yes, you can decrypt more saves, but it doesn't necessarily mean you could decrypt all saves, okay? Because a lot of people have the misunderstanding that on 4.7, the saves that they had previously on 4.6 should decrypt on 4.7, 4.7, sorry. That is not necessarily true. So let me actually open up brute force save data 4.7 for you guys so you can see what it looked like. Obviously, when it opens up, it has a new user interface. So as always, you would download. Now the cheat that's here, just note on 4.6 and 4.7, it's the same thing, so there's no difference. All right, let me update. I'm gonna exit this, and as you guys can see, the only difference is that the user interface up here is different on 4.7. However, there has been one feature that was removed on 4.7, which is right here in this little shaded gray area or white area. Sorry, before on 4.6 they had like a save online that you can access and get saves that people have posted from some type of server from brute force save data this actually has been removed in 4.7 the only reason why it was removed because the server where you would get the saves that other people have posted to there there were no saves there and it didn't work so they just said let's just scrap it and take it out because if it doesn't work and you can't get saves from the servers server sorry it defeats the purpose of having it so, as you guys can see already, everything pretty much is the same. Everything down here is the same. Um, nothing is different. The only difference, like I said, is the algorithm. So, you won't really see any difference in 4.7 versus 4.6. Like I said before, I would recommend that you guys go to 4.7 since this is the newest version. I'm also going to make a video for you guys on this whole key situation up here. I've seen a lot of people have been asking me they can't decrypt certain saves. My key up here is blank, which you see I have a couple of saves that it's like that. I'm going to go down to a couple of other saves that I've, I've been seeing that people have been asking. I have an unprotected save. How do I fix that? As you can see, I actually have one here for um, Call of Duty Modern Day Warfare. Um which is the first first one and as you can see I, I have that same problem but for most of my saves I don't have that problem very few saves as you can see I have that problem so I'm gonna make a video on how to address that issue so look out for that video that video should be posted sometime later on today um, I'll show you guys how to fix that just note when you try to fix this there's a certain way you have to do it and not all saves have keys but for most part most saves have keys what i also would like to show you guys today is brute force save data's actual new site as you can see up here it says brute force save data dot reform dot net and if you guys need any help with brute force save data i would recommend that you guys come here and subscribe or register and you can guys can get pretty much help on brute force save data and that goes from getting certain saves to certain keys 
to just any general information you may have on brute force save data i actually do have an account i'm just not logged in at this moment but i would recommend that you guys go here log in or register and just see what they have to offer i check it out periodically here and there but not all the time but this will help you guys for those who are having trouble for brute force save data 4.6, 4.7, so on and so on and so on. Um, let me go back to actual proof for safe data 4.7. So yeah, guys, nothing has changed much. Um, like I said before, I would recommend you guys update. And as always, if you guys need help for anything with proof for safe data, just send me a little message on my YouTube channel. I'm back in business, so look out for any more. Um, videos that's gonna be coming out if you like my videos if you like um, anything I'm doing leave a comment leave a like subscribe as always I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and taking the time to leave me a message as always it's mr. you know who from X and my gaming check out my gaming channel and peace